to the Johnson Space Center. That's right. NASA. NASA is what Malachi calls it. In, uh, where is it? Uh, Houston, I think. That's right, in Houston. So, in honor of that, we are watching Apollo. Apollo yeah, look at that. Look how I hold, I held that up, and it was perfectly, like, that's perfectly even. Why is it? What? It's backwards, though. Something's going on here. Hmm. Did you do that? What? I don't understand what's happening. Let's see if we do it. This. No, it's just upside down. I mean, now I'm just upside down. Anyway, we are getting to visit the control center. What do they call it? The control room. What do they call it? No, nope. boy, I shouldn't record this video. Here we go. Oh, that's better. Mission control. That's right. We're visiting mission control. And here we are outside of Houston, Texas. I am so stinking excited. We are about to head to NASA, the Johnson Space Center in Houston. We just watched, no one's listening. We just watched the Apollo 13 last night to get ready because we actually get to go into mission control from the Apollo program. What? Yeah, and see a Saturn V rocket. Did you say Saturn V rocket? Yes, I did. What? Yeah, I did. It's true. Yeah, they're excited. Yep. We're all excited. They're just playing games. They're not even listening. That's what they actually flew, the astronauts flew them. We just pulled in to the Johnson Space Center and I am in heaven. If you come anywhere near Houston, you should come here. We haven't been here yet, but based on the parking lot so far, you should definitely come. What do we think, Miss Rose? It's amazing. It's huge. Yeah. Like, need it. Thank you. It's so big. What do you think, boys? You're excited. What do you what do you think, Miss Rose? That is one of the most mind blowing, crazy things ever, right? Wasn't that nuts? What do you think, Malachi? It was so... It was huge. Huge, yeah. Oh, there are no words to describe how it... How big it is. I'm Sorry, talking. I was falling over. Go ahead. Um, Excuse me. This is like something I feel like when you, when you see it, it like... It just changes the way you think about things and you know, the way you, I don't know, just, you know, think about things. It's crazy. It's amazing. Like, oh my gosh, I just don't even understand it. it you know, it almost, it looks impossible, but it's there. So you know it's not, but like, <laughs> it's crazy. It was a good school day, huh? Yeah. Crazy. What was your favorite thing? Um favorite thing probably the tour mission yeah. control was super cool Gosh, and that five. Rocket. good yeah. lord this was really cool too this was cool yeah it's amazing the size you don't realize how yeah that's the thing nothing in the video yeah, you, you, see you don't TV, get an idea you have of the no scale idea how small or how large everything is so. yeah not gun <laughs> Somebody that doesn't have a brain. This is literally gone for five minutes. Yeah. No. Wait, while we were here? Yes. No, this just happened? It's fresh. You're kidding. This was all open. I thought they did it at the mall. Here we are. 
are in Louisiana, Louisiana, uh, just outside of New Orleans, in our site. One of the best campsites we've ever had. I can't remember the name of the campsite. You can probably hear in the background, they have those like, they're boats. Take you through the bayous. Is the bayou the same as a swamp? I don't know. Anyways, we have them all over here though. It's really cool. Right over here is one. Like we're in it. We are in the bayous. Like the place where you get on the tour boats to take you out to see the gators. Uh, gators is uh, like we could walk to it almost literally. But we're gonna drive. Anyways, look at this site. It's so cool. We have this little deck back behind me. A fire pit right there, and just, it's just open. Well, it's not open, but there's no one around us. Look at this, even back behind us, nothing, nobody. We have our lantern set there, our lantern, and uh, whoops, this way, another, what, two picnic tables? Oh yeah, because we're living large. And you come down here, and you're like, well, there's probably tons of people behind you. No, no, there's not. Is that a gray hair? Yep. And there. Ooh, that's gross, I know. You guys are like, ew. Sorry, that's what happens. We, one of the things we like to do is to have the kids try different foods wherever we go. If they have something that they don't have, like in California, or the kids have never had, we want them to try it. We want to try it too. Our kids just got a pound of crawfish that we're gonna boil. And they're very excited. They feel like they have a pound of pets. <laughs> Let's see. What have you got there? A crawfish. anymore. Why not? I think they are. What do you think? <laughs> What'd you say Z? You're uh, sorry? Yeah that they all died. I think you do. Yeah. Like that? Think, yeah from the There. Look at that. Ew. Ew. That's that poop. Yeah, that's his no. poop? Most of them though when we crack them open they have poop in them. So no. Z's not gonna do it either. No one's gonna try it. No one's brave enough. <laughs> So today we tried alligator and we tried uh, crawfish. You have crawfish everywhere, literally in grocery stores, in gas stations, like crawfish is the thing. So we got some crawfish, alligator, shrimp, gumbo. Mm. Oh, and then we got, uh, of course, if you come to New Orleans, you have to get the, you know, those like donut things. Beignet, got beignets and this uh, iced coffee, this French iced coffee was really good. It's s'more night, our favorite night of the day. Because we do it about every night. Actually, we haven't done s'mores in a long time. And I love doing s'mores. Nothing like your trailer and a deck and a fire. Some people ask, what is the perfect marshmallow? I mean, what are these called? What's the perfect s'more? Yeah, that's... This is it. See if it'll actually focus in on it. Looks kind of weird. 